so once you're already invested or once you visit that um it's gonna like connect to your wallet so as you can see it's connected to your metamask now so your metamask is going to be your credentials on the application itself you cannot access this website without your wallet id oh nice okay so you just need to click on this so that you can see all the passive profit is all right okay so if okay so when i get so let's say when i get my money when i get the other sorry when i ready to do any deposit right, right. i first go to coinbase right right and then buy your and then assets I buy that I have to say buy 500 of uh, the uh, USD coin. Right. Mm -hmm. Using your... so it doesn't fluctuate when I transfer? Yeah, in that way it's not going to fluctuate. Because um, if you're going to be uh, directly yeah. like using BNB, it will fluctuate. It's going to change its price from time to time. So this is one of the things that we're doing. Right, I don't want to lose just transfer, right? Yeah, that's right. I can lose money just in the transfer. Right, right. So if it's USDC, okay. it's safe to transfer to Binance. So I'm going to be buying a USD coin, and then once I get that coin, then I go to Binance. Yep. I, send, I send that coin to Binance, right? Yep. Uh, to send the coin to Binance, you click on um, Overview. So in order for us to get the Binance wallet for your USDC, we would need to select Deposit in your Binance account and then crypto deposit and then select the coin that you would deposit okay uh usdc coin um and then erc20 and then copy this one copy whatever wallet address it will give you do not close this right. and then go back to coinbase and then send and receive, receive. Uh, it um, USDC, <clears throat> and then once it's uh, selected, go ahead and paste the wallet ad address, and it's gonna show continue over here. Once you already have the assets, so once it's confirmed to be sent, okay, your Binance platform uh, will show you how much USDC balance you have from here gonna show here it's in a form of BTC because you're in United Kingdom BTZ is like really a pop star in United Kingdom you might see it as BTC but it's in USDC uh, in order for you to like continue the trade um, you have to convert the USDC that you have just click on trade and then convert and then select from USDC to BNB and then once it's already converted you can now go back to your wallet okay and then hit on withdraw once it's already okay, I have in your a wallet. question though sure I'm very confused why can't we just go into Binance and and, tra and trade the uh, USD coin for Binance coin to Binance why do we have to go back to Coinbase uh, we have to go back to Coinbase because it's running on Ethereum network we cannot just buy assets over here because it's running on United Kingdom okay got you it's just a little bypass thing yep it's a bypass thing. so um, okay, got you. once uh, you're going to transfer already your assets to your uh, MetaMask, you just need to hit on withdraw, but it's gonna enable. Uh, let's set, actually let's set it up now. Enable two-factor authentication, phone verification. We're gonna select United States. So what's your number? Okay, I'm gonna send the code for both. The phone number is already linked like to an account. I'm gonna try to deactivate your other Binance account. It's a tricky situation because it's 24 hour lockdown. So you were able to log into your Binance account? So sign out of that, log out of that, that's not the same account. Yeah, we're gonna use that uh, Binance account that has like 24 hour lockout for you. Okay, let me get into it from my Safari then. Okay. See that? 
Yep. Okay, go to withdraw. I'm gonna withdraw it now. Because I had to change the password, it wasn't see. So, 10 hours. So, we just need to wait 10 hours and then we will withdraw it. It's gonna be transferred here in the MetaMask directly. You just need to give me a call uh, tomorrow or after 10 hours so that we can have this set up and then transferred over to your smart switch account and then we can use this account or no we're not going to be using this account we'll be suspending this and we'll be utilizing the new one that we created we're going to delete this overall after we transferred over the assets okay okay but either way we were able to successfully set up your binance set up your coinbase set up your metamask and set up your phone as well with the metamask and we have confirmed that you can send and receive via MetaMask. Okay, by the way, my, hey, my money just cleared right now. It's showing this the table. Oh, can great. Great, great. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice. So we're going to put in 74. We're going to pay it with Save Credit Union Visa, right? Yeah. yeah why don't you do 750? Uh, we cannot max it up. We have to like leave ten dollars just for the processing fees and all that. And so we're gonna be like uh, leaving this for now. Um, these uh, Binance account. So the Coinbase is already here. Bitcoin exchange. Since we cannot like process the phone number verification and email verification on your Binance for now, would you like to like use my Binance that is, you know, linked into my phone number and my email for now and then log it out? Yeah, yeah, you're, 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 Right? Yep, I'm gonna transfer the coin. Uh, this is just for you. Okay. Uh, you can actually see what I'm doing, by the way. Have you built passive profits from beginners? Yeah, I actually did it. Um, you can see that um, I have withdrawn a lot of. Is this your baby? Sorry. So I'm gonna deposit crypto deposit. I'll use the coin, and then we're gonna be using ERC20. Copy that, and then go back to Coinbase and then send receive send all paste it over there <clears throat> so we're going to be sending seven hundred ten dollars and three cents um verify id to send that so verify yep mm -hmm. what do i gotta do so you just need to like scan your ID or you can actually do this on your uh, phone if you do have it's going to be linked. So the process that I sent is going to be, um, you know, done on your phone as well. Okay. Oh, I think it's already here. So do I need to do anything? Yep, you still need to do it just to make sure. What do I do with that? Oh, go ahead and go to your phone and then open Coinbase and then go to settings, account limits, and then increase limits, then apply now. Increase limits, okay. You're not eligible for compliance limit increases. I think it actually went through. Just for some reasons, I don't know why. But a while ago, it's asking for an ID, right? Yeah, it was, but then I think I've already did that. I already went through that. Yeah, it's crazy. I just it on the account so long. So it should. I'm not getting the email. Is it still telling me to do that? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure right now, but give me one quick second. Because the portfolio says here that it has already been transferred. Oh. Verify ID to send now, see that? Yeah, it's delayed. It's delayed for 10 minutes. Delayed until 8.48 p.m. July 17th. So you would need you to... Verify, verify the ID to send now. Yes. You have to verify the ID. Do you have like um, an ID here in your laptop? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, driver's license or state issued ID? Okay. So you're gonna be using a webcam or file upload? Okay, go ahead and continue. Take a selfie. <laughs> Your identity is being verified. So it may take at least a few minutes more. Right, I know how slow this stuff can be. Yeah, because it's running in the Ethereum network, so Ethereum is kind of congested right now because there's a lot of it. Let's just reload it from time to time. Once you receive it, you're going to convert the currency from USDC to BNB. So at this point of time, once we already converted it, uh, the uh, flow is going to fluctuate. So that's what we're going to do. So for now, I'm going to convert it. The price is going to be 710 because they don't have any gas fees with what we are um, actually... We are going to convert the USDC to BNB because that is what the website is actually accepting as a liquidity token. What, BNB? Yep, just BNB. I understand that it's BNB, but how can we could transfer Ethereum 20 straight to BNB instead of USDT? Oh, because of this limitations that we have. Uh, because you're, we're using an IP address from the United okay. Kingdom, so the IP address will actually block those transfers. So in order for us to like bypass that, we would need to have United Kingdom IP address to bypass the conversion. Okay, I guess I don't, I don't understand it because once we go back into Coinbase and then we buy what the Ethereum twenty, then we send the Ethereum twenty into Binance. Um, e ERC twenty is a network. So um, as you can see here, ERC network is where we are doing the transfer. What is our goal is to transfer the network from the Ethereum mainnet to the Binance Smart Switch. Right. So why do we have to do the um, USDT? Uh, we have to do the USDC to BNB because your asset is going to fluctuate immediately if we transfer it directly to, you know, uh, or, or it's not going to go through uh, the MetaMask if it goes through Ethereum wallet. I mean, we can transfer it over directly from Coinbase to your MetaMask, but we still need to convert the USDC into BNB either way. So, so basically, you want to keep it as tight as you can from getting fluctuated, right? Right, right. That's what our goal is. We just want to make sure that the assets is not going to like. You see, it's now 705. So we have to do it as fast as possible, actually. When we do it, so that uh, the uh, Asset is not gonna go down. Okay. Right. 